Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Stein's channel. Hope you guys had a great weekend and a good day today. As requested by somebody, I'm going to be drawing a how to draw video of making Pluto from Mickey Mouse and Friends. This was requested by I don't remember who. I lost track. If it's you, send me a message and say thank you. If it's not you, still send me a message and say thank you. Or send it to Pluto. Just make sure he does not eat it. So, here is my finished example. It's all colored in, so at the end of the video, pause. No pun intended here. So you can look at the video and look at all the colors. I'm just going to draw him. Now, I'm going to start with the top of his head, which looks like the letter M. So it's not the middle of the paper. It's about three quarters of the way up. So I have enough space. I'm going to make half of an M. The other half of the M. And then I'm going to connect like that. That gives me the top of his head. For his kind of cheeks or side of the head, I'm going to bounce out and bounce out. Now here, I am going to give a little line and kind of a curve, a little line and a curve. And that gives me a harder part of his head. Now his mouth is a huge W. So I make the kind of corners up here, like a cartoon mouth. I go around and meet in the middle. Around, meet in the middle. Okay, you just have to take your time. It's pretty much a large W if you look at it, that just meets on either side. Now, I'm gonna make that nose, which is just an oval. It touches the W though, don't make it floating. It should touch where that W meets in the middle. Now I'm gonna make three lines. One, two, and that third line kind of goes right at the top of the mouth. See where these little hooks are? The third line kind of goes right between them. That's where the eyes are gonna touch. The eyes are giant M. Start on one side of that line, go up nice and high, down, up, down. A large letter M. Then you can make two ends, kind of, for the pupils. One, you can fill it in because it's gonna be black. Two, fill it in so it's black. Now, before I make the ears, I'm going to make his mouth. His mouth is like a large U, but it's broken up in the middle by that tongue. So I'm going to start. Curve, but then I'm going to stop. Curve, and then I'm going to stop. Same on the other side. Curve, stop. Curve, stop. I let that part in the middle open for his tongue which is a large letter M, up and down, up and down. Make sure it touches the parts that you left open, right? And then just finish the tongue with a U. It's almost like a partially squished heart, but I'd look at it easier as an M and a U, or smiley face. Now I'm gonna give him one line for the side of his neck like this, and then I'm gonna curve around, curve around, that's gonna be his collar. So I have to do it on both sides, curve around, curve around. See, it's a lot of double shapes and a lot of letters, M's, W's, U's, V's. At the side of each of these curves, one line down, one line down, and then add a, connect them with a smiley or a U. See? Now I'm gonna give him his body, which just comes straight down, but in two pieces. Start at the edge of his collar. Down, down. 
until it gets to the bottom of the paper. Down, down. You can make his tail, because again, it's only about half of his body. Down here end up being his butt and his legs. So you can make his tail pop up like it's attached to the rest of his body. I make it go pretty much all the way up till it's almost parallel to where his mouth is. Kind of where his cheeks are actually. And then I just bring it right back down with a double shape. You could fill it in black because that will be black. So if you're using a black marker, then you can fill it in. If you're using a pencil like I tell you to do in class, then you'll fill it in later. Now what's left? Compare this to this. The only thing I'm missing other than coloring is his ears. One's coming down, one's flopping up and over. So, it's kind of like a big teardrop. One down. Now the other ones could touch the top of the paper like this and disappear and then reappear like that. That way when you color, you have everything you need. So you have all parts of Pluto. If you have more space, you could finish up his body, but I made it big enough because I wanted to really see the head as that's the most iconic part of Pluto. You can make a background. Maybe he's outside in the grass. You'll go with some green if you want, right? Maybe he's at the dog park. Maybe there's a big tree with a squirrel hole, right? Mm-hmm. A large tree. Maybe there's a sun in the background, right? It's up to you what background you make. This is just one quick example. He's out at the dog park. Maybe off to the side, you have somebody holding his a little collar and holding him like he's being walked by somebody. Maybe Mickey Mouse is taking him for a walk. It's really up to you. So use the colors you see here to color him nicely. So you can pause and look at the colors. There's really just a few. Black, kind of an orangey brown, pink, and a light green. At least those are the colors that I found. Leave his eyes white, but his pupils black. Nose black. Inside of his mouth black. Tail and ears black. All of his fur is one color. And then his collar is the light green. And you have a wonderful Pluto. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is good for any age level. It'll be harder for pre-K and kindergarten and first grade. Second graders and up should be able to follow step by step without too much trouble. And my kindergarteners and pre-K kids always surprise me with how good they are. So I would not be shocked at all if you guys rock this lesson. Enjoy. Later this week, I'll post some new lessons. Take it easy. Roll, roll. And talk to you guys later. Bye.